Welcome and thank you for your interest in Mac Practice's Template Editor. The Template Editor in Mac Practice allows you to create new templates and edit existing templates for EHR in the Mac Practice desktop application, as well as the IEHR in clipboard or iPad applications. The EHR ability has three nodes in the sidebar for template management. The Shared Templates Library allows you to search for and download pre made templates provided by Mac Practice. Before you download a template, you may view a descriptive summary as well as view a preview of the template within the library. You are welcome to download and edit any of the templates available here, and you may also create new templates if you wish. Any templates that you've already created can be viewed and managed under the Templates node. Select a template name in the sidebar to edit the template. Once selected, you will be able to change the template's name, as well as control the sections included within the template. If you wish to change the order of your sections, you can do so by simply dragging and dropping them. If you wish to remove a section, you may do so by pressing the delete key on the keyboard. As you make changes to your template, you will see the preview on the right hand side update. And you can use the preview button in the upper right hand corner to hide and display the preview panel. You can also use the preview area to test out the template without having to create a patient form. Any updates you make to your lists, such as adding or removing items, will be changed in the template and available for patient forms as soon as you save. For example, I will add abdomen as an option to the locations in the HPI. Adding new sections to a template is also easy. Click the Add Sections button in the upper left corner to hide and display the Sections panel. The Sections panel shows you all sections that are not currently being used on the selected template. Simply drag a section onto your template to add it to the template. And you can also use the search bar to locate specific sections if needed. You may also manage your sections in the section node in the sidebar. Here you can modify existing sections or create new ones. To edit a section, simply select it in the sidebar. You may edit the section name, give it a description, control whether you would like the data to automatically pull from a previous template or not, and add additional fields. Fields may be easily deleted by pressing the delete key on the keyboard. Just like the template editor, the section editor allows you to see and interact with a preview of your section on the right. When a field is selected, you may adjust that field settings on the field tab. Different options are available depending on the type of field selected. For example, in this section, the checkbox allows me to control whether it's checked by default and I can configure how my form's narrative appears depending on whether the checkbox is checked or unchecked. Additional formatting can also be done using HTML tags. For the family history list element, you will notice this item has two lists, the list of conditions on the left and the associated family members on the right. When editing this list back on the field tab, you will notice that, the that you can edit both sets of lists. You may also import your list from an external file or automatically alphabetize your list by clicking the sort button. The data in the right-hand column can be a free-form text field or a table with an additional list. And you can control whether users are allowed to select multiple items or not. Additional elements are just as easy to configure. For example, the slider element allows me to control its minimum and maximum value, 
its default value, and its precision. Text fields allow me to set placeholder text as well as a maximum length, and I can also do some additional formatting, such as setting this as a date field. The drawing view allows me to import an image to draw on, and everything else is handled for me automatically. Segmented controls allow me to configure up to four optional buttons in each of their narrative outputs. Many other elements are also available to choose from, such as freeform text labels, text views, simple pop-up menus, and blocks of text. Creating a brand new template is as easy as selecting the template node in the sidebar and clicking the plus button. All templates need a name, and then you can be begin by dragging and dropping sections from the available sections list. If you have also purchased MacPractice's clipboard application for the iPad, you will be able to control if the template is going to be available on the clipboard by checking the Available in Clipboard checkbox. You may also control this in the section editor for each element on the form. Additionally, if you have purchased MacPractice's online registration for Patient Portal, you will be able to control whether the form is able to be sent to the patient or their guardian on the Patient Portal by checking the available in Portal checkbox. Please watch the online registration demo video for more information. Templates can also be exported in the event you would like to share a template with another MacPractice user. MacPractice's EHR ability is a great centralized location for all patient health information, whether it is captured by a physician or a patient on an iPad or within the MacPractice desktop application, with a single interface to manage and maintain all templates.